Welcome to another episode of Exploring Innovative Construction Equipment here at MacMinds Hub. Are you ready to discover the different types of concrete mixers used in construction? Let's get started! Are you familiar with this batch mixer? These are the drum mixers, featuring cylindrical containers that rotate on a horizontal or inclined axis. With blades or baffles inside, these drum mixers ensure comprehensive blending of ingredients and come in three subtypes, the tilting, the non-tilting, and the reversing. Tilting drum mixers can tilt up to 90 degrees to discharge the concrete. They are easy to operate and maintain. They can mix both dry and wet concrete. However, they have a low mixing efficiency and tend to segregate the concrete. This means the concrete may not be uniform in texture and strength. In comparison to tilting drum mixers, non-tilting drum mixers cannot tilt as it have a fixed opening at one end for loading and unloading the concrete. They have a high mixing efficiency and can mix large patches of concrete. However, they are difficult to clean and require more power to operate. They also have a longer mixing time than tilting drum mixers. The final subtype of drum mixer is the reversing drum mixer. These mixers rotate in both directions and feature two openings at both ends for loading and unloading concrete. In addition to their ability to mix both dry and wet concrete, they are easy to clean and exhibit low power consumption. However, they have a low mixing capacity and can cause wear and tear on the drum. The second type of batch mixer is a pan mixer. These are circular containers that have a vertical or horizontal axis. Equipped with rotating blades or paddles for ingredient shearing, pan mixers have two subtypes, the planetary and the twin shaft. Planetary pan mixers have a central rotating star with three or more blades. The star and the blades rotate in opposite directions creating a complex motion that ensures a thorough mixing of the ingredients. Planetary pan mixers are very efficient and can produce high-quality concrete. These mixers are easy to clean and maintain. Nevertheless, these mixers tend to be costly and come with a restricted mixing capacity. Twin shaft pan mixers have two horizontal shafts with blades attached. The shafts rotate in opposite directions, creating a strong mixing action that can handle both dry and wet concrete. It's very powerful as it can mix large batches of concrete. They are also durable and resistant to wear and tear. However, they are noisy and require a lot of space. Continuous mixers provide an uninterrupted flow of concrete without the start and stop cycles seen in batch mixers. They consistently feed ingredients and water into the mixing chamber, producing a steady discharge. Ideal for large-scale projects, continuous mixers come in two main types, the gravity mixers and the forced mixers. Gravity mixers use gravity to move ingredients and water through the mixing chamber. They feature a top hopper for loading and a bottom chute for discharging concrete. While simple and cost-effective, Gravity mixers have low mixing efficiency and may lead to segregation and bleeding of concrete, potentially resulting in less thorough mixing and water loss in the concrete. Forced mixers employ mechanical devices like screw conveyors, pumps, or propellers to move ingredients and water through the mixing chamber, creating pressure differences for effective mixing. Despite being complex and expensive, these mixers offer high mixing efficiency, producing uniform, high-quality concrete. Forced mixers are versatile, capable of handling various concrete types effectively. Another type of concrete mixer is self-loading mixers. These mixers can load, mix, and transport the concrete by themselves. With components like a loading bucket, mixing drum, water tank, and control cabin, they offer versatility and convenience. These mixers can operate independently or in conjunction with other equipment, reducing labor and fuel costs, thereby enhance productivity and quality. They are like a one-stop shop for your concrete needs. The compulsory mixer is a type of concrete mixer that ensures thorough mixing by applying high shear stress. It features a stationary mixing chamber, 
and the rotating mixing element, producing high-quality concrete with a low water cement ratio. Capable of handling various concrete types like self-compacting, fiber-reinforced, and high-performance concrete, compulsory mixers are suitable for projects requiring robust and durable concrete. There are two main types of compulsory mixers and these are the vertical axis mixers and horizontal axis mixers. Vertical axis mixers are compulsory mixers that have a vertical mixing shaft. They have blades or paddles that create a vortex and a centrifugal force. They effectively mix both dry and wet concrete with low power consumption and minimal noise. They are suitable for small to medium projects. However, they have a low mixing capacity and can cause wear and tear on the blades. Horizontal axis mixers are compulsory mixers that have a horizontal mixing shaft. It features a horizontal mixing shaft with blades or paddles creating a spiral and radial force. They effectively mix both dry and wet concrete but come with high power consumption and noise levels, offering a high mixing capacity. They produce homogeneous and dense concrete, making them suitable for large and complex projects. You might be familiar with some concrete mixers, right? But did you know there are more worth knowing about? These are not very common, but are cool and useful. These pear-shaped mixers look like huge pears with holes in them. They can mix dry and wet concrete. They are simple, cheap, and easy to use. However, they may result in an even mixing and water loss. These cone-shaped mixers look like giant cones with holes excelling a thorough mixing of both dry and wet concrete, resulting in strong and smooth outcomes. While suitable for tough projects, they come with the drawbacks of being complicated, expensive, and hard to use. These self-propelled mixers move by autonomously. They have wheels or tracks, a drum, a bucket, a tank, and a cabin. They are like self-loading mixers, but more mobile and less loading. They are handy and versatile. They can work alone or with others. Efficient and portable, they save time, money, and energy, functioning like a portable concrete factory. Truck mixers have a drum, a tank, and a pump. These mixers can carry and mix concrete from the plant to the site or mix on the way. Fast and efficient, they deliver large quantities of concrete quickly, making them ideal for sizable projects requiring substantial concrete volumes. These volumetric mixers are measured by volume, not by weight. They have separate compartments for cement, sand, aggregate, and water. It has a system that controls the flow of the ingredients while make the exact amount of concrete needed at the site. They can also change the mix and the water-cement ratio as needed. Featuring its flexibility and accuracy, volumetric mixers can make different kinds of concrete with different qualities. They are good for projects that need custom concrete. Did you enjoy this episode on innovative construction equipment? Share your favorite concrete mixer and insights in the comments below. Always prioritize safety in construction activities especially dealing with machines. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to MechMind's Hub channel for more insightful videos like this. Thank you for watching!